Hello there, this is the Small Biz Geek. I'm going to show you how to set up Google Calendar SMS alerts. And I'll show you what I've been using Google Calendar for. Now I use it for my web design business. And uh, what I do is when a payment is due, say for example I'm due to pay um, my hosting um, uh, invoice so like Dreamhost is due on the 10th of October what I've done is I've created uh, an alert in my Google Calendar on the 10th of October every year so I always get a text message to my mobile phone saying that I need to pay Dreamhost and I can set up these SMS alerts either a few days before the event or even uh, weeks or months so I can always give myself plenty of time so how do you do this I'm sure you want to know the answer to that well I'll show you right now first of all you need to sign into your Google account I'm signed into a, a completely different Google account here and what you do is you click this little menu there and out pops these various options click calendar and then click the cog in the top right corner and come down to settings and here you will set up your calendar so choose whatever your language is choose your country of residence choose your time zone choose your preferred date format time format and choose how long you want uh, uh, a default event in your calendar to be. I've set it up so it's 60 minutes in length so that's like a, a window of time. You can set it up for 30 minutes, 15 minutes, however long you want. You can choose when the week starts, I've said Monday. You c the rest of it you can pretty much leave as is, show weekends, yep, 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 custom view. A lot of this is irrelevant to the uh, the Google SMS but if you're setting up the calendar for the first time you might as well do it correctly so what do we need to do now we need to set up um, we need to set up the carrier of your phone with Google Calendar we need to synchronize your phone with the calendar so again click the cog come down to settings go for mobile setup and enter a number so Zero seven nine four four nine five nine six five seven. Type in your phone number, but before you click send verification code, at which point it will send a, a, an SMS to your phone with a password. Before you do that, there's something you need to do. You need to delete the zero off the front of your your mobile number, and you need to type plus four four. That's a country code for the UK so plus four four minus the zero of your mobile number followed by the remaining digits okay so the next stage is to click send verification code did you hear that there it is it's arrived so let me get my uh, phone Okay, so I've got a message from Google. It just says from Google. And the, the body of the message says your Google Calendar verification code is 342989. And then once you've done that, you can simply click finish setup okay fantastic so what do we need to do now we can what we can do now is uh, we can pretty much leave these settings as they are you can change them later if you want but it's not that relevant to the SMS alerts but what we do need to do is create some new calendars now we can either do that by going to settings in calendars yeah, let's go, yeah, settings, calendars, and you can create a new calendar from here. Or if you go back, you can create, I think you can create a calendar. Oh no, that creates an event. That creates an event. Let's create a calendar. So the, the cog 
again on the top right come down to settings calendars and let's actually create a calendar so let's pretend we can that this is called uh, invoice renewals so let's imagine you've got some customers on a renewal basis and uh, every month recurring payments check bank account and then I'll just put UK for location so that's that and uh, you can make it public or you can make it private by default it's private um, I'm gonna leave it private I don't see the point in making it public it's no one else's business really um, so create calendar and now now we've got no calendar selected if I click invoice renewal it puts like a little grey box next to invoice renewal and let's imagine that it's now it's the first of October today let's pretend that at nine o'clock I'm due to receive a payment uh, from Bill Smith so it could be Bill Smith invoice and I'll choose the invoice renewal calendar and then what I'll do is I edit the event and what I can do is now let's say he's I'm charging him monthly for whatever the service is I I'll choose all day and I'll choose repeat and then I'll say repeats monthly beginning on the 1st of October and on the 1st of October of every month I'll get a text message saying Bill Smith has has paid or Bill Smith needs to pay and you, that can go on indefinitely and what I'll do is I'll make sure that this event never ends but say for example but I've got a contract with Bill and it's only due to last I don't know uh, two years so I could say after now, now that would be 24 wouldn't it so there's 12 months 20, so after 24 occurrences or two years it ends so it's the 1st of October 2014 um, so it would end in 2016 so you click done and then you can give it a description Bill Smith or Bill Smith direct debit check account for successful payments I mean you can you know fill in whatever you want in a way it's whatever your business is you would just adapt these uh, reminders and and then you go save and that will now that's put that on the calendar now if I click invoice renewals again it disappears you see to create a calendar you go to the gray eye uh, the gray cog in the top right corner it's settings calendars and create new calendar so that's pretty much it and if I've gone a bit too fast for you or you want me to be able to break this down into more actionable steps I've set up I've set up the entire step-by-step -step process as a slide share instructional guide and you can find that by going to slideshare.net forward slash small biz geek thanks very much for watching if you've got any questions just ask I'll do my best to help you and uh, I'll talk to you again soon thanks bye